Hey guys, my name's Roland, and welcome to a game called Grow Castle. Now, Grow Castle is a game that I've been playing for a long, long while. Basically, you hire heroes, and they defend your castle. You can also hire town archers, as you guys can see in the background, and they also help defend your town. Um, well, if you go to the town, you can get some miners that produce gold for you, and each hero has their own separate... Like, they each have their own special abilities. We also got a leader. One of my favorite leaders is, um, Edward. He just has so much health. And stuff, he can deal some damage. So anyways, let us get into this. So yeah, you basically survive a ton of waves. And hope for the best. So as you see here, my men are just going out there. They're just beating these monsters up. My swordsmen are just moving up with my um, spear throwers, I like to call them. Just supporting from the back. Alright, let's uh, get a wall up. Again, each one of them has their own special abilities. And stuff like the My favorite ones are the two dudes in the bottom. The knight, or the paladin, and the spear thrower. The reason is, is because they're the ones who are responding all of these dudes. Like, responding in reinforcements. And also, I got a ton of perks and stuff, which makes them even more better because, as you see here, there's twice as many. Alright. So, we're absolutely demolishing these guys. My paladins are just thinking. I don't know, they're just going insane. Um, yeah, I mean, give me your feedback on if you want me to, like, keep playing this game and stuff, because I definitely want to try out some other games other than, like, you know, Warplane-related games. Anyways, now that I showed you a basis of the game, let's go into survival. First off, though, gonna uh, buy some perks right now, just in case. But yeah, tell me, tell me what you guys think about this game, if I should keep continuing it, if I should um, go and do other games and stuff, because I mean, I, me, myself, I'm not really tired of playing World War II Ninja Duty or any of those other airplane games, it's just that, you know, like, I want to take a break from it, except I want to, like, you know, try some new content. Anyways, we are tag team survival right now. We're doing well. I mean, this is because this is gonna be starting off early. Let's speed it up. Okay. So I mean, I don't. I'm not even using any of my heroes now. If you. You guys may be wondering, like, where are all those, like, skeletons and stuff that are being summoned out randomly? Well, those are coming from my witches up there. I got a mage witch, a scythe witch, which is summoning all those skeletons with scythes, and a arrow witch, which is summoning skeletons with arrows. And stuff. They're pretty cool. And, I mean, the best thing is, is that they kind of summon them automatically. So I really don't need to do much. I mean, I can still summon them myself if I want to, like as you see here. I can kind of just summon extras. But I mean, I usually don't. I just let them do it themselves. Because it kind of like slightly reloads faster and stuff. Anyways, I mean, look at this. My guys are just standing there. Also, um, you guys take a look at the towers up here. Like, you know, Ice Tower, Fire Tower, and the Barracks. Probably my favorite one is the Barracks, because it trains troops. And with the double, and with, like, the, um, double people perk, um, it trains two people at a time. And, I mean, I got them to shield men, so they last a long time. I mean, look at them with their tiny shields, though. It's like, wow. Hmm. As you see here, town archers are just unloading it right now. I'm gonna speed it up. Oh, 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 looks like we got harpies. Harpies are kind of the worst because um, 
it really kind of distracts my team, like it distracts my team. But they go down pretty quickly. All you need to do is just, you know, like let your talent archers handle it. We're actually surviving for quite a long time. We got tons of HP. Also, another thing, you can also upgrade your castle. You can upgrade your castle, you can upgrade your town archers to make them better as you... Because, I don't know if you guys can see, but the top right corner, or no, at the top left corner of the, like, group of archers, you'll see one of them has, like, a red cape. Except and that means they're upgraded. So yeah, I can definitely upgrade my town archers and stuff, I can upgrade my heroes. We are really okay. They're starting to come in. They're starting to pour in now. I got these um four giant golems, which are just you know absolutely beating them up. We got our hero here, Edward, who is just you know slicing and dicing. I mean, he's got the most health and most defense, so I like to keep him out during the field. Also, he has also um I think every few seconds or every twenty seconds. He does a little, um, summoner's perk, meaning that all of my summon, any, like, summoned infantry and stuff will do extra damage. Alright, let's get our, um, paladins and stuff out here, just, you know, kind of push them back. I mean, they're starting to get serious now. Oh, we got some harpies. Take care of them. Take them out, take them out. Alright, in the meantime, though, my swordsmen are just gonna absolutely destroy these guys. I mean, they do tons of damage. Like, they do a lot of damage. Alright. Our skeleton archers are just going at it, though. That's nah, Fred. Alright, harps are just dying. Uh, don't think we... I don't think we need to make a wall yet. I mean, the person who makes the wall is the architect, which I, like, the architect is probably the hardest character to get, but he's so worth it. Because once you, um, you know, promote him, once you promote him to a different skill tree, which I did, one of those promoted skill tree levels can give you, like, a wall, but with town archers, you know, kind of defending that wall. So it's kind of like a forward defense. Just kind of cool. I mean, I was just kind of showcasing it, but our mana will regen. It doesn't. It surprisingly doesn't take that much mana, but the cooldown, man. All right, these guys are starting to push us back. Uh, do a bit of a bazook. All right. Ooh, that was devastating. All right, come on, slow him down, slow him down. Ah, uh, gosh. Uh, like. They did, like, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of damage right there. Oh, we got a group of zombies. We got a group of... Oh, no, we got catapults. Catapults are going to be their main source of damage. All right. All right, come on. You can do this. Push them back. All right, let's get some paladins and some uh, spear throwers out there. Come on now. Paladins... Like, I always like bringing out the paladins and, so and like, um, spear throwers, kind of in, like, dire situations, to, you know, like, kind of, um, basically push back the enemy. Because, I mean, you see how much damage these guys do. I mean, the paladins do last a bit longer than the slingers. But, I mean, either way, though, it's still pretty good. Also, we also got... And um, also, we also have the skeletons, which are kind of substituting the um, paladins and stuff. And we also got the barracks, who are training two men at a time. So, I mean, we really don't need to use them unless, you know, we got like a gigantic push and we got like a strong enemy. Ah, crud. Uh, Alright, boost the town archers. Get the town archers to, you know, speed up their work. Alright, snipe them, snipe them. There we go. Alright, so far, so good. Uh, we took some damage, but we are still pulling through. Our skeleton archers, man. They're, like, our skeleton infantry are just doing some work. Alright, get the paladins out, get the spear throws out. Alright, push them back, push them back. 
All right, these guys are getting absolutely demolished. Our golems are just, you know, apps. Our golems are just stinking wrecking people. Ah, crud. We are doing a lot of damage to the enemy, though. Uh, where's King Edward? I mean, not King Edward, but where's Edward? I think he might have died. Oh man. There goes our, um, summon perk. Or there goes our summoner's perk damage. Thing gone. Oh, that's fine. We're just making money. We're just making bacon. Alright, we got some dark elves. Get the paladins out. I'm not gonna get the slingers out now because there aren't any harpies. And stuff. And plus the paladins on their own are pretty... Like, the paladins by themselves already are just, you know, mods. Like, are just boss. Alright, crap. Freeze them. No, we got the harpies. Die, harpies. There we go. Get a health upgrade, you know, gonna max out our health. Yeah, crud. Here comes more dark elves. Deal with them, deal with them. Jeez, man. We are wrecking these guys. And look at our ice tower. Our ice tower is just chucking up. Like, our ice tower is just chucking out damage. It's just chucking out some ice balls at people. Alright, get the slingers. The slingers pushing back. This is why control. This is literally why control right now. Alright, uh, do a bit of freezing over there. Kind of stop that next line of infantry. Build a wall. Build a wall. There we go. That ought to keep them back. And with the town archers, that's making the even better. Ah, crud. Here comes the harps. Here comes the harp and harps. Ah, let's get some scythe. Let's get some scythe skeletons in. Let's get a few extra of those. Yeah, let's get all the other skeletons in. Get a few mage and archer skeletons. I'm looking at them. They're just reinforced. They're just reinforcing the line. Ah, crap. No, 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 keep them back, keep them back, keep them back, come on. Keep them harpies back. Oh my gosh, alright, get the giants out, get the titans out. We need to get the titans out. Look at them, they're just gonna absolutely demolish everything. Alright, get the paladins out too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, we ain't got, ain't nobody got time for this. Ain't nobody got time for this. Oh my gosh. Get the wall up, get the wall up. There's like a giant horde of people. There's a giant horde of enemies coming in. Alright, get those catapults down. We cannot let those catapults come in. It's gonna be devastating. Ah, crap. Alright, our wall is gone. Reinforce the lines, reinforce the lines. Come on, men, come on. We can do this. Alright, let's get our talent archer speed up. Increase defense, increase defense. So, you know, we don't, like, suffer as much damage. Also, get lightning. That really helped us out. That like instant killed everyone. But sadly, the next wave comes relentlessly. Alright. Um, the archer in the back right there is just machine gunning everything with her arrow. She's going absolutely insane. Let's get some uh, paladins up. Also, let's kind of reinforce them with skeletons. Personally, I think we're doing good. I think we're definitely doing a uh, pretty decent for first try on survival. All right, do it again, do it again, do it again. Oh my gosh! Woo! Well then, kind of loosened this up, didn't it? Now I'm gonna end the episode with fighting the dragon. I mean, I'm po I'm, I mean, I may possibly fail this. I may fail, because I did kill the green dragon, but I may fail in trying to, you know, kill the other dragon. Oh, gosh. Okay. So he stomps the ground this time. Freeze all the other enemies. I don't want any more trouble. Get everything out. Just get everything. Whip out all the stuff you can. Look at the skeleton brigade. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, they're pushing us back anyways. They are pushing us back at the Paladins. And we died. To be honest, I expected that to happen, but yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, 
put in the comments down below if you want to me if you want to see me do any other different video or like if you want me to record any other video games and I will see you later